Well, it is now day four, and tomorrow will be our concert together. And I want to take the time to give you some encouragement and some inspiration, hopefully, to be in touch with your original you, to take the steps to be inside of your art, true to you, true to the genuine aspect of you, which means to also go inside of the music deep and to see all of the different aspects, the overlays, the rhythm, pitch, and timbre, you, life, music as one living being. Honest, it will help. It will help maintain the integrity and intactness of wholeness. And you know what? To try to be that different kind of performer or that new kind of professional you got to be brave. you got to be brave. And that's why I'm calling this day Brave to Be. And actually, if you go to the blog, on March 13th, 2008, I actually wrote something called Brave to Be. And I'm going to read it right now. Brave to be. Can you be who you are now, physically, mentally, and emotionally? Can you feel free to be you to you? Do you know who that is? Are you trying to be different to who and what you are? It is a great question. Who and what are you? Can you accept what that is? Can you make the changes to accept who and what you are now, even if it is different to what you think you should be? How can one be at full if one will not accept oneself and one's abilities? How can one grow if they don't start at their current position and location? What if you are different to those around you? What if you are different to who you think you are? Be brave to find out who you are. Who will if you don't? If not now, when? Brave to be. Brave to be. Brave to be. Why not? Why not? That doesn't mean have no standards and care and respect for anyone else. In fact, when you really get inside of yourself and you feel settled with that, and from that current position, you can grow, you'll probably have more respect for others, more compassion for others. So, Looking at it through the musical context, you become what you think about. You become what you practice. You become what you process. And so, in wanting the art to be alive because you want the spirit of things to be alive, you have to be brave. It might not go with what's currently in fashion. And if everyone decided to always go with what was currently in fashion the whole way through, there'd never be any breakthroughs. There'd never be any new discoveries. There'd never be any pioneering effort. 
So it's, I feel, each person's responsibility the best way that they can to get closer to themselves, to be brave to be, to be able to go where maybe few have gone before, but many would love to. But that step of, that step of bravery is important, to have the courage to do it. I mean, let's face it. I tell all the students who come to me, your three or four years, whatever it is with me, is like this. And at the end of those years, we look at each other and we both can hear the snap without me even snapping. And that's how fast our life goes by. So, why not be brave to be you? And dig into the art. And dig in and find its life. And breathe that life into it. Let it breathe into you. And so something real and genuine and substantial can come along. Look, technique is a part of the experience. Of course it is. No one's saying throw away technique. That would be ridiculous. You can't. But you can incorporate it as a living thing, too, and not feel that you have to stuff yourself inside of some teeny little thing that might not be you. On the other hand, in order to develop, to develop towards something, yes, we have to make adjustments. We have to make adjustments. You know that from your everyday life, you have to make adjustments. But can we keep the integrity of ourselves happening? That's a question. And our music making. And to be able to play in an orchestra or an audition or a quintet or chamber music or a solo or in our own practice room. Can you be you in your own practice room? That's the importance of that free time. That's the importance of it. So, I hope this has been useful for you. There's been a lot of material, and you have, you have it all <laughs> to be able to look at it and work with it any time you'd like. The next time you play your excerpts, have you found your personal relationship with them? The next time you play your solo, have you thought about what you're communicating through it? What is the message in that wrapping paper? The next time you're on the stage playing, are you tuning and trying to blend with others and trying to make sure that your part's alive? Not just this little in tune, in time, little timbre little thing happening. You know, uh, things are going into a direction, and that's what you'll hear in this tech legend reading today. Things can be going into a direction of real mechanistic happening. And there has to be some of us brave enough to move forward. I'm not saying a free-for-all where you just every minute just do what you want because you're you. I'm not saying that. I'm saying can you do what you do with the life of it? Interpretation is subjective. Okay? That's why there's a lot of people who say, my interpretation, my interpretation, my interpretation. That's the way, that's the way. No, it's not. Don't let anyone tell you that. That is their view. And maybe they're seeing a part of it in a real way. But if you made it real for you is the question. Brave to be. Brave to be you. Take the chance. It'll be worth it. See you at the concert. <laughs>